morning, Pete Ravel here. Uh, you know, most uh, most everything we get in these days is either uh, text or emails, but I got a handwritten letter here, <laughs> a little bit hard to read. Let me put my glasses on for it. I'd like to share it with you. And this is, oh my goodness, you know, there's, you can write in longhand and you can write in shorthand. This letter looks like it was written in strange hand but bear with me anyway gang i'm going to try to get through this let me read it to you it says well hi there all of you at vanity that's all the boys that would be the four on the floor of course i want to say i love the music of you guys on your channel well thank you very much it's kind of you to say that but i was wondering if you and you guys like any country music and if so do you have a favorite artist once again Four on the floor, guys, are great. Please, please, oh, I'll get this. Please excuse the crayon as they don't let us use any sharp implements here on the sixth floor. Okay, that's okay. Well, anyway, point is, yes, we do. We do some uh, country music in our shows. And uh, also, yes, I do like uh, some country, you know. I, in fact, I like all genres, as long as what it's good music you know and do i have a favorite artist yes i i do have a favorite artist as a matter of fact in fact uh, since you asked i'll tell you a bit about him my favorite artist is a person that i met in downtown chicago i was working tony sellers on rush street and this would be 50 oh over 50 years ago oh even i, I won't even go longer than that uh but uh he used to come into town because uh, he was quite a songwriter, and he would go and meet with the song pluggers from Chicago, trying to sell his music. Uh, this was before he became a famous singer, entertainer, musician. And I'm talking about a dear friend of mine, who I still have a relationship today, I'm proud to say, and that would be none other than uh, Bill Nelson. Now, uh, Bill, well, he's a great guy, you know, and as I say, he would come in, uh, in the evenings when he was in town, and uh, we'd uh, share a little music, break a little bread, maybe a, a libation, because it was good for us, especially in a winter when the weather was getting cold. You know, you don't, it kind of preserves you a bit. But you know all about that. I won't go there. Anyway, um, Bill is a great guy, and oh, that's my friend Bill, but you know him. Uh, you'll know him as Willie Nelson. And there's a story about that. How come how come you call him Bill? We know him as Willie. Well, I'm going to tell you how that works. You see, here in the Midwest, let's say we go out to dinner. You and I are six of us, four of us. When the uh, server brings, after, after the meal, the server will bring that piece of paper and he or she will say, check. And then, well, we may say, yeah, I'll take that and... Either I'll pay it if I've got the loot, or maybe we'll share it, depending on how, however we're going to work on that. But, see, Bill was from Texas. And in Texas, after you have a meal, well, the server will come up and say, Bill? And, of course, Bill would say, oh, yeah. Well, it got to the point where he was picking up all the tabs all the time. He had a young lady that he cared for an awful lot, and she cared for him at the time. Um, and she decided she wanted to take care of him. She said, "You're getting this is not good because she was telling him you can't afford to be picking up the bill every time we go out." So she said, "From now on, I am going to call you Willie, and so will everybody else. You are from now on Willie Nelson." Well, that's how Bill got the name Willie. But um, I go back to Chicago. Uh, I met I met him, as I said, at uh, Tony Sellers on Rush Street. And we became pretty friendly. Well, on one of his visits, he came in and he kind of looked down on the face a little bit. I said, Bill, what's, what's, what's going on? He says, she broke up with me. Well... You know, he was very fond of this young lady, but um, it didn't work out, and she moved on, and he wasn't feeling good. He, 
In fact, he told me, he said, you know what, I wrote a song about this, and uh, he's, I, of course, I said, I'd like to see it, you know, if, I, if you don't mind, I'd look at it. So he gave me, in fact, he, this is what he gave me. It's got the lyrics on there, and it's got some, some notation, and I did sit at the, uh, at the piano at Tony's, and I, I went through it, and I said, wow, you know what? That's really a catchy melody. But, uh, Bill, I have to tell you something. The lyrics here are a little bit tough. I, I think you're going to have to soften them up uh, for commercial, from the commercial aspect. Well, he didn't say too much. He left that night. But he came back two nights later, and uh, he didn't look any, any more happy. But he said, he said, Pete, you know what? I changed the lyrics to this guy, and I think you might be right. Uh, it just needs needed to be more socially acceptable, and commercially acceptable. Anyway, uh, he did leave me the sheet. So what I have here is the original version of this song that, at least in my mind, is uh, it just it's Willie Nelson. It's it's the best chunk of music and he's he's wrote so much but i think he's more noted for this song than any other but what i'm going to do for you i'm going to do this song but i'm going to do it the way willie originally wrote it and then you know what i'll do i'll also do a version of it with the revised lyrics when you hear it i think you'll know what i'm talking about you'll re you'll be familiar with the song this is the uh Willie Nelson, all-time great. The way he originally wrote it for that young lady from Texas who eventually broke up with him and moved on to somebody else. Goofy. I'm goofy for feeling so lonely Loony I'm loony but you're loony too Silly When you said you love only Willie When I was Billy, I picked up the tab for you too. Murray, you ran to him in a hurry. Worry. That was the only thing that I could do. Wacky, it runs in your family, you're all wacky. Now you may say I'm goofy, you might call me loony. But I'll never be crazy like you. Wow. Can you see why he had to change the lyrics a bit? Well, eventually it came out to be crazy. I'm crazy for feeling so lonely. Oh, I'm crazy, crazy for feeling so blue. To think that my love could hold you 
And then someday You'd leave me for somebody new Worry Why should I let myself worry Wondering what in the world did I do? Crazy for thinking that my love could hold you. Well, I'm crazy for trying, crazy for lying. But I'm crazy for loving you. The music of Bill Nelson, better known as Willie to you. And I think I made a mistake in that lyric someplace, but what the heck? That's the way it goes, because I just want to show you I am not perfect either. You have yourself a great day. I'm Pete Ravel. We're at Vanity, and we'll see you soon. Why can't I get that together? I always wanted to do that. <laughs> see you guys.